Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to play Nintendo 64 games on your Android device. This is gonna be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how to do everything. On screen right now, you can see me playing some GoldenEye. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're gonna be searching for and installing two apps. The first of these is gonna be RetroArch. RetroArch is gonna be the free emulator we're gonna be using in today's video. So the first thing you need to do is get this installed. From this point, we need to back out of here and then we're gonna be searching for and installing a second app and this is going to be Z-Archiver. Z-Archiver is going to be another free compression and extraction tool that we're going to be using for our games a little bit later on. So all you need to do is get both of these apps installed. Once they're both installed we're going to be opening up RetroArch and if this is your first time opening this app you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage. Once this is done what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top and here we'll see a list of all available downloaded cores. In this case what we're going to be doing is downloading a new core for our Nintendo 64. Simply click the download a core option right here and we're going to be scrolling down until we see the Nintendo option and now we're going to be scrolling down a little further until we see Nintendo dash Nintendo 64. Now from this point there is three different cores to choose from. For my testing I was using Moopin 64 plus dash next GLES3. In this case that was the one I was using and it seemed to work just fine. However what I'd recommend doing is experimenting with all the cores for certain games. If some is giving you an issue the other may not and vice versa. Download our core you simply click on it once. Some text will appear at the bottom. Once the text disappears our core will be installed and then we can load up our core a little bit later on and you can install as many or as little cores as you would like. From this point what we're going to be doing is backing out of here and we're going to be opening up Z Archiver. So what you need to do is open up Z Archiver and then locate to where your games are. In this case I have a Nintendo 64 folder already made and I have my GoldenEye game right here. I will also mention at this point I'm not going to be showing you in today's video how to download games. Although games are really really easy to find a quick Google search will help you out and your games like I mentioned will most likely come in that zip format. And what we're going to need to do is extract the games out of this to get a Z64 format that we're going to be using for our actual emulator as our emulator is able to read that format files. So all you need to do is click on your game once. If it's in a .zip, .7z or a .rar format you will need to do this. We'll then have to click extract here which is going to extract the game in our current location or extract dot 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 where we will get to choose which location to extract it to. Since I have this folder created specifically for Nintendo 64 games I'm just going to be clicking extract here and this may take a couple of seconds depending on the size of the game and depending on your phone's hardware. But once this extracts you will get the file type you need. In this case I have a z64 and that's exactly what we need for our emulator. From this point what we can do is back out of here, open up RetroArch again, and now what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option, and now we're going to be scrolling down until we see our Nintendo 64 core which I have right here. Simply click on it once and then your core will be loaded. From this point what we're going to be doing is clicking the load content option, and you're going to be locating to where you just extracted your game. So I have my game right here in the Z64 format, simply click on it, then your game will start to load, and then your game will play just like normal. And just like that you're playing Nintendo 64 games on your Android device. Now to make this work even better I would recommend connecting this up to an external controller. I'm not going to be showing you in today's video how to set up a controller, although I do have a previous video where I show you step by step how to do that. I will leave a card on screen and a link in the description down below. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to play Nintendo 64 games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.